So this one doesn't necessarily exist, but it's fun. Anyway, so we're going to determine, what would you like to, you can do hybridization first. There's a couple questions that can come from this type of question, or this type of molecule. So, uh, let's do some hybridization. Let's, uh, oh, so a couple things you should know. When we draw a structure like this, anything at a, a vertice, like here, 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 are carbon atoms. So the way that we kind of save ink in chemistry, especially OCHEM, is not write out C's everywhere because so many molecules have lots of carbons. So we just put at kind of points, like look like edges of a polyhedron or something, right? zigzags. So everywhere, where my fingers are, there are carbons here, 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 here. Okay, so that's something to note for this kind of relation. The other thing to note, um, all carbons, if they have a formal charge of zero, have how many bonds? Four. 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 So that means right here, where there's a carbon, and you only see two bonds, there are two bonds not drawn into hydrogen. Okay? Does that make sense? So to save more ink, we don't draw all the hydrogens, and we don't draw the lines to them showing the bonds. Okay, so we're saving a little ink that way too. Does that mean that those are both double bonds or that there would be like hydrogen you said connected to? There would be two single bonds to hydrogen, say right here. Okay? Okay, so that's a little background information. Now let's give this a try. How about right there? What's the hybridization? Oh, and I drew this a little. Should put, should draw this like that. Sorry. Get how? Can't do it all crazy like I was trying to draw. Yeah, there we go. That atom right there. So how many groups do you count? There's a carbon right here. One, two, three. Two single bonds and a double bond. Three groups, that's what kind of hybridization? Two. Two. Okay? So I remember three groups is sp2. All right, let's try another one. Uh, let's try this one right there. I just told you all carbon have it. Atoms have how many bonds? Four. Four. So you're counting one, two, three. There's a bond not shown in. What is it bonded to? Invisible hydrogen. Yeah, invisible hydrogen. Now it's visible. There you go. So, how many groups? Four. That's how many bonds, how oh. many groups. There are four groups. There's uh, th uh, three bonds, but uh, four bonds, one, two, three, four, but yeah. three groups. One, single bond, a double bond, and a single bond. So this is sp2 also. Three groups, sp2. Yeah? I don't know. I thought it was, you said there was two hydrogens bonded to the carbon? I was pointing oh, to this those. One. those. Those don't apply. Those aren't the same. In that. They apply in the same way. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four bonds yeah, to four every bonds. carbon. Okay. So anything not drawn in, and this wasn't drawn in earlier, must be a hydrogen. Yeah. Here, there's only two bonds shown, so there's two hydrogens missing. Does that make sense? Yeah. Here, there's one, two, three bonds shown, so there's a hydrogen missing. Okay. Here there's one, two, three bonds shown, there's a hydrogen missing. Same here. Okay. Here there's two bonds shown, there's two hydrogens missing. We need four bonds. Okay. And in fact, all carbons in this ring, and there's six carbons, have what hybridization? SP2. They're all sp2 because they all have three groups. Okay. Let's continue on. Uh, how about this carbon right there? How many groups do you see? Four, so it's sp3. In fact, this one's exactly the same. They're both sp3. Okay, let's try this oxygen right there. How many groups around that oxygen? Four. There's four groups. How did you get four? You're right. Because you have the two not showing. Yeah. The lone pairs aren't drawn in has to have an octet, or the other way to think about it, has to have a formal charge of zero. And that's otherwise marked. 
cell. Uh, there's no hydrogens here, only on the carbon. So this is the sp3 hybridized oxygen. It's tetrahedral bent molecular geometry. So all these are tetrahedral. All these here, all these carbons are called what? On the ring. There's three groups. Trigonal planar. Trigonal planar. Okay, let's go on. How about this nitrogen? Right there. How many groups do you see? I drew in three. To make the octet, there better be four. There's a lone pair I didn't draw in. So that's sp3. Nitrogens are pretty typically sp3, but they can be sp2. Okay. How about this one? one two, 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 two groups. Two groups, what's that called? Uh, sp. Yeah, there's a pi bond on either side of it. Um, Oh, and this should be H2. Sorry, my fault. Uh, let's do one more. This one right there, that oxygen. Uh, four. Four, because it's oh, got two invisibles. Uh, there are two lone pairs not drawn in. There's four groups, so that's S, P, P3. Oxygens are usually SP2 or SP3. If there's no double bonds, it's sp3 probably. And notice this nitrogen and this oxygen, they didn't have any double bonds located near them, and so they're sp3. sp3 is what we expect if there's all single bonds. Okay? You want to add one more dimension to this? Uh, how many pi bonds do you count? Wherever there's a p. Pi? Or I mean, yeah, I counted five yeah. pi bonds. If you want to really be annoying, you can ask, how many sigma bonds do you see? There's a lot of sigma bonds. Uh, let's see if you count. I got 26. Everybody else get that? Everybody else got nothing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Wait, how do you figure out this? I just count it. All <coughs> bonds have sigma bonds. So I'm just counting all possible bonds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. But I mean, like, just not necessarily for sigma, but just for sigma or pi, all, you just count the for single For sigma, or you count all double? single bonds. Oh, no, for sigma, you count all bonds all have bonds. a sigma. And then for pi bonds, if you see a double bond, it has one pi. If you see a triple bond, it has two pi's. Okay. Here, there's one, two, three double bonds. There, two more there, five. Okay. okay?